Howdy folks and welcome back to this let's play of Fallout 4. My name is Sneeders and let's just load the end of the last saved game which we actually had over here in the vault. We had just gotten out of the vault itself. And, well, not out of the vault, we had actually just gotten out of the cryogenic chamber here. And just before that we actually saw our wife getting killed. So our wife is in one of these pods here, it's not this one here. It's this one here. Do this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God! Nora. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I will most definitely get Sean back. I'll make indeed that solemn promise here. <clears throat> Let's check out what actually is on the terminals here. Let's just go through all of the bits and bobs. Right. So the chambers are offline. Life support is all offline. Let's check out the actual pod statuses. What does it say about Nora and Sean? It says unknown pod door manual override engaged. And I thought it said actually they were all locked. So the deceased cause of death asphyxiation due to life support failure. All right, it doesn't really get me anywhere. So that's all looks to be very, very similar in terms of what it says. <clears throat> Let's find out what else we can about what's going on in here. So we're checking in the other pods here. There's more people in here and they seem to be frozen as well. Again, I don't seem to be able to open these. So there's again one of those terminals here. So let's check out what this terminal here says. This one's also offline. Life support, same goes for those. If I look at the occupants, again, the same cause of death for all of them, it looks like. Yeah, I'm not gonna check all of them, it would be a bit of a waste of time, but it looks like the same information is displayed here as it was for the other one. Now, is there anything extra I can find behind here? Can't be the only one left. Hello? I hope not. I certainly Anyone? hope I'm not the last one left. An extra suit. Clipboards. Clipboards. And uh, there is a coffee cup here as well. And the idea here is I'm going to pick up everything I can here. So at least I got some gear with me when I get out of here. <coughs> Again, all of these materials here can later on be used for the purpose of uh, yeah, building my base. Hold on, is there no weapon to be found here at all? No, nothing. Anything here in terms of weapons? Hold on, what's that? It looks like a critter or a bug. Ah, we got ourselves a security button, which is good. Anything else of use here? It doesn't look like it. Ooh, what have we got here? More coffee cups. There is cigarettes in here as well. Chairs. Just gonna let that chair fall onto the ground. There's a stim pack here. Another coffee cup. There's n ooh, lighter. Nuka Cola. There's nothing in there, but there is a terminal here, a security terminal. Let's check out what the security terminal can actually tell us. Instructions. We're authorized to use lethal force. Interesting. Let's look at the actual residence admittance. Makes sense. All right, so scientists, security personnel, basically gives you a little bit of an idea of actually what their jobs and so forth are. Let's jump back one. All right, what does the all clear message mean? It means that basically after, I think about 180 days or so, we can actually get out, or at least the personnel can get out. There's nothing about what actually else could have happened here. Let's look at the logs. So reading quickly through these logs, Christmas on the ground, together with the rest of the security boys and support staff, and had a little party. Best gifts got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. <laughs> All right, let's check out the other ones. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everybody's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying that all oh, clear signal is never gonna come. 
You can stay here longer, that's for sure. Uh -huh. I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months, and it's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months. All right, so the overseer seems to be doing some stuff. Main door accessing the vault is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. Evacuation tunnel, interesting. How convenient for him. He, is, oh, he was one of the scientist team watching the door into his offices at all time from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. That was the last entry then. No all clear is coming, we need to leave. And it sounds like they're actually going to protest against the overseer. Okay, great. So that sounds like a bit of a revolt. What's going to take place? Anyways, what is that? Extermination is everybody's job. <coughs> okay. Anything else I might have missed here? I don't see anything else here, so let's just assume that we did indeed get everything. Now I'm currently in hidden mode. I'm basically sneaking forward. I want to make sure that there is nothing in terms of surprises waiting here for me. There's some critters over there, it looks like. Sweet. Giant. Giant cockroaches. What the hell? More coffee cups, which should give me some ceramics or anything of that sort. Any other useful materials here? Let's just go through everything. Nothing here. Is anything under the beds? Anything at all? Would be very, very useful if there was something. I can jump as well. I cannot see anything here that's of any use at all. Except for lots of lots of boxes. Is there anything in there? Nope. Now there are bottles, coffee cups, coffee mugs over here. And I'll take those as they are. Pack of cigarettes, pencil, beer bottle, coffee cup. There's a terminal here. It's a recreational terminal in this instance. And if I'm not mistaken, let's have a look at the actual memo on there. Enjoy responsibly, top 10. All right, so that's about 10 names almost. Play tape. That looks, let's have a look. Ah, that looks a bit like Donkey Kong, I would say. <laughs> Let's just play that once. And of course, Donkey Kong, it used to be little barrels of oil that were being thrown towards us. Da. Ah, I made it to the next level. Looks like that ladder wouldn't have done it. So let's exit out of here. Um, I'm quite happy to exit out of there, yeah. <clears throat> let's just eject that tape and take it along. So we got the Red Menace now as a tape that we can take along. What else do I find in here? There's a fridge. That's nothing. Is there anything in there? Nope, nothing in there as far as I can see. So hot plate, ceramic cup, sink. I can drink some water from there potentially. Toaster. Anything else down here? It doesn't look like it. There is another toilet here. There's a shower. That shower looks to have been long gone. Doesn't look to have any further use. But what's this? A mixer. Okay. All right. What else have we got here? Lots of other stuff. And it looks like one of the bugs got zapped. It's just. Uh, See if you can stay hidden here. Uh, Alright, I 
I'm not focusing in on them yet. critical hit to him as well. Sweet. That uh, went relatively easy. I did, did get damaged slightly, only slightly, so not too badly. Let's see what else I can find here. No sir. Oh, there is a corpse here. What skeleton here? Where is everyone? Uh, I don't want to go down there really. Never know what actually is going to happen if I go down there. I might get electrocuted as well. I want to avoid that, that possibility, if at all possible. <coughs> wow. Nice critical hit as well on him. I hit two of them here, relatively hard. Um, let's have a look. Drinking fountain. That seems to be able to heal me, which is good. What else have we got here? Also stim packs. With stim packs restore 30% of your maximum health, heal damage, dealt, etc. etc. Ooh, there's a gun here. That would be quite useful. Is this all that's left? Ah, these are my favorite items. Good. Alright, ammunition. Ammunition, more guns. Is there anything else in here? Pre war money. Always useful to find that kind of stuff. A little bit of jittery here, but uh, what is in here? Nothing as far as I can see. Cigarettes. More ammunition. Anything else in here? Now, was there a secret escape here? This valve supplies oxygen to old chambers. Anything else underneath the bed? Nope, not that I can see. Again, nothing really useful to be found here. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? All right, let's have a look. The overseer's stuff. Overseer's instructions. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardio monolary and cognitive function long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by vault tech technicians all right that sounds okay cryogulator i've been dreaming of making cryogenic freezing available to a portable on-demand form the cryogulator is a latest attempt thankfully we are no short supply of the chemicals and components i need to tinker with the prototype it's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal <coughs> okay that's the policy on resident admittance. Each of the designated people needs to be escorted. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained for their security if necessary. Okay. That's the individual jobs of the individual people. We only intervene if there's an 80% mortality rate. Interesting. Uh, okay. Security personnel. Again, maintenance. This should really be different. Not, well, not much different, at least from the previous one. All clear message. <coughs> Radiation levels, blah, 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 blah. So that, again, seems very, very similar. Short-term assignment, okay. Overseer's log. So preparation is basically giving me a general idea. This vault is ready to open. It can only imagine that wonders our resident will get to witness. 
cool. October 23rd. It's happened we're lucky that most of the staff were nearby when the early warning came through. Like everything went smoothly. Good. Cryogenic pods. He's already talking about them, even though the other staff members didn't necessarily talk about that as such. This is an issue with heart palpitations for a subject in C3. That I believe it's my wife, Nora. So maybe when she actually was killed, that actually was recorded as such on here. All right. So he's talking about the mutiny. And then ultimately here the actual, sorry, the supply is running on show, and then here the mutiny is being discussed as such. All right, last option on here is of course opening that door. <clears throat> There's nothing I can take from here, it looks like, which is fine. Ooh, did I forget something? Yes. I forgot to go through these cabinets here, check if there's anything else on this side here. Doesn't look like it. Oof, took him down. him down as well. Let's get the one on the wall here if I can. Cool. Cool, there seems to be a little bit of a delay there. Nice. That's five of them. reload. Lots of meat to be found here now. Is there anything else to be found here? I was kind of hoping there would be, but I don't see anything else here. Because I was able to take them all down before they got too close to me. <coughs> and of course means that uh, I don't need to be too worried about any damage that I might have suffered. Alright, that's one of them down. Are there more? Pretty sure there will be more. Maybe not. Oh god. <laughs> Shot him whilst he was in the air. Lucky me. Is his hand moving? Oh, it's only because of course the critter passed by there. What else? Ah, the Pip Boy. The little wrist computer. <clears throat> All right. So that's going to be the new way in which we can actually look at our skills, etc., etc., in a game. There's a rad meter on there as well, so we can actually see the radiation levels. Save the tab with the mouse. <clears throat> okay. Perk chart. So if you press T, you get to see a perk chart, and you can actually see all the key skills, etc., etc., within here. I believe I might have actually missed something. Did I oh get God. everything here? Oh God. Pretty sure there was supposed to have been some goggles somewhere as well. Didn't see those anywhere here. 
Let's have a look at the actual apparel I've picked up. I didn't find any goggles here now, or glasses, whatever you want to call them. Anything down here? Nope, nothing down here. Let's double check again over here. Am I the only one left? Making sure that I didn't miss out on anything. And just quickly run back to where we were just a minute ago. Ah, spectacles, like I said. I missed out on a few items that were actually on the table over here. Too preoccupied with some of the other stuff going on here. Oh god. Let's have a look at that inventory again. We're going to actually put on these eyeglasses, which will increase our stats. So you should, next to the stats here, sorry, special C, that my perception has now got a plus in front of it, which indicates it's got a boost from one of the items I'm wearing. Right, what can we do here? Is there anything I can do with this machine here? Nope. We do want to basically get out of here. <coughs> so I'm going to connect my pit boy up to the actual machine. The uh, mechanism to unlock the uh, and exit. Door cool. Please. So let's start opening the door here. Starts unlocking the door. Alright, the door door is being unlocked. We can get out any second now. The door is moving aside. Ooh, that's bright. Ooh. Not quite used to that level of brightness, but. Uh, we should be okay here. Anything else to be found here? No, I don't see anything else here. No hidden treasures. You never can tell in these kind of games. Sometimes you find hidden treasures in the oddest places. And do I want to change anything? Let me just change one item in terms of appearance. Now, do I get to see the, see the same mirror or is there a different mirror I get to see at this point? Ah, it's a different mirror. So let's have a look at the face. What can I do about the... No, I don't want to do any sculpting of that as such. Cheek type. Smooth or weathered? I'm not sure. What do I want to have? Weathered, smooth, ruby, creased or wrinkled. Let's go for smooth here. Let's again choose the same here. So smooth up there. Type. Ooh, I can choose the type of nose. I didn't even realize I could do that. Handsome nose. I think I quite like that nose here. Anything in the neck wise? What can I do on there? Type. Smooth, yep. Yeah. Type. Average. Oh, I can actually choose the style of this as well. Let me just move this up a little bit. Accept those changes here. Okay, anything else here? Lowered face. I can actually change the facial hair. I wasn't aware I could do that. <clears throat> Commonwealth. Is that the most common here? Probably. That looks quite chic, doesn't it? Dead Man's Hand. Chopper, the Beast. The Bard. Goatee. Full throttle. Straight flush. Do you want to go for something of that sort? Gettysburg. <laughs> Apotomoc. Honest Abe. Survivalist. I think Honest Abe is actually a quite nice one to have. Yep, let's go for that one. 
And let's say we're done. <clears throat> and yes, we're going to get out of the vault now. So that will be the end of this episode here as well. It took me slightly longer than I expected, but uh, we did get there in the end. And at the end of this episode, we'll really just have exited out of the vault. With the idea here being is we should be able to move on to the next yeah, like point on from here, I guess, <clears throat> in terms of getting into our hometown again. So once we're actually up on the surface, we're going to have a brief look around in terms of just moving our head around, seeing where we are. And after that, we're actually going to actually put an end to today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And of course, in the meantime, thanks again for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.